Hey there, WordPress nerds. My name's Chris, and I'm your friendly neighborhood support Jedi with Sprout Apps. For this illustrious video, we're going to be looking at code snippets and how to use them to customize the crap out of your Sprout Apps purchases. So first, we're going to look at using code snippets the old-fashioned way. Now to start off, you need to connect to your site via FTP and then locate your themes functions.php file. Now this is typically going to be in the wp-content folder and then in themes. And from themes, you're going to look for the name of your theme and it should have its own folder. Here you should find the functions.php file. Go ahead and right click and download. Now, while that's downloading, you're gonna need a software that can read PHP files. So for me on a Mac, that's Xcode. For Windows, just Google it. So once that's downloaded, go ahead and find wherever it downloaded. And then before we do anything to this, we actually want to make a copy of it in case we screw something up and break everything. So go ahead and duplicate it and then choose which one you wanna edit. And then from here, we can just paste that short code whichever one we want and boom you did it you're freaking cool way to go give yourself a high five so after that we're going to save it close it out and then we're going to re-upload that newly edited file so it makes those changes active on our site so go ahead and just drag and drop in there and boom you are a code snippet wizard now the other way to use code snippets, in my opinion, is much easier. There's a plugin called Code Snippets that you can install directly to your site. So head to your plugins tab, click add new, and then you should be able to search for this plugin by just searching code snippets. Now once you've found that, you can install it and then click the fancy blue button to activate it. So once you've got that installed and activated, you should see snippets on your sidebar here. So click that and then go to add new. Now from here, you can enter a title for your short code. And we're using the default invoice due date short code. So then you can paste the code into the code section. You can add a description if you'd like. And then just click that big, pretty blue button and you are a customization prodigy. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this edition of Chris Tells You How to Do Stuff and You Do It. Until next time, happy invoicing, nerds.